So, Mark, back-to-back -back victories to start the season. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, please, please to win. Um, probably making it a little bit more difficult for ourselves um, in the second half of the game when, we, when we've been in front. Um, but, you know, we're, we're certainly a work in progress as such. You know, we've got quite a few new players in the team. And there's been some really, really good signs. Um, certainly things that we can do better to make, to make things easier for us. But, you know, can't ask for any more than the six points from the first two games. And it carries on a remarkable run that we're on from the you know back end of last season as well. So, um, yeah, please, please everyone's work, great efforts. Um, and the good thing is I think there's, there's a lot more to come from us. Yeah, you mentioned that you brought a lot of players in. You're you starting to see that they're gelling now, and it's just really starting to come together. Yeah, I think you saw the first, you know, obviously the first goal, Chris Dawson, great little pass through to, to Jake Beasley. That little bit of understanding that playing together, you know, over a period of time, that that only improves over time. So, so that was nice to see. There was some good, good play in the first half. Um, from that point of view, um, you know, created numerous chances. Should have been far more comfortably in the lead by half time. Um, yeah, you know, we're only part time, so we've only got the lads a couple of nights a week and, and Saturdays, so it's difficult to, to build those relationships. We definitely saw, um, I think, a little bit more fluidity around the box at times tonight, but like I say, I think there's a lot more to come. Yeah, obviously, you mentioned that you're a, you're a part time team, so considering that, how impressed were you with the fitness that you side showed later on to go straight through into what ended up being nearly seven minutes of added time? Yeah, well. We sort of sat in, didn't we, and, and you know let them have the ball really in, in there after the pitch, and, and for all the sort of pressure they had, all the ball they had round our box, clear cut chances for them were sort of few and far between, really. So from that point of view, we defended it really well. What we, what we needed to do better was, um, which would have helped us from a sort of fitness point of view and, and effort point of view, was keep the ball better when we had it and, and be more effective when we went forward. But, um, but yeah, the lads, you know, obviously look after themselves. We've got, uh, you know lads that are playing basically at the top top level of part-time football now in, in this league um, so to play at this level compete at this level they've got to look after themselves and, and the lads do that and, and that's that's shown I think in the last 10-15 minutes the last couple of games yeah obviously JP has scored twice and out how much how important is it for his confidence that he gets his account opened early on in the season yeah per, you know that's what strikers need isn't it goals um, you know they get on runs where they start scoring goals and it, it carries on for a while and, and when they get in a rut it can that, that take a bit to get out of as well so yeah please for him I think he's getting good areas for us he's made some good runs to get him behind their defence probably you know probably think that he could have had a couple more as well tonight um, but yeah you know um, the passes from Chris Dawson and, and Jamie Spencer to put him in as well were, were top draw as well so um, nice to have your number nine scoring goals and hopefully Jake can you know chip him but not only his goals, I thought his work rate was fantastic for us. Got hold of it well. Was a, you know, a presence for us up against two big, strong, dominant centre half. So, um, you know, it's all round game. It was good tonight, and, and he deserved his two goals.